Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Mom School Academy. My name is Mr. Land. I will be walking you through week number 35 of third grade Bible reading. All right, so the contents of that may be found on page number 81 of your workbook. So if you've got your workbook in your hands, please go ahead and turn over there. You are going to see the contents over there. And for the past seven or so weeks, we've been talking about the Overcomer Secret, which the Overcomer Secret is going to be a book over here that we wrote in the ministry that teaches good attitudes. The book is going to teach us how to have good attitudes so we can be good students, so we can be good children to our parents and grow up to be good adults so we can contribute positively to the society. There are lots of bad people all around the world, right? The reason they're bad, guess what, is because their attitudes are wrong, all right? So we wrote a book in the ministry that talks about good attitudes. These attitudes are honesty, humility, and faith toward God, and we'll start training people to be less arrogant so they can do good things on the outside. So we've been studying this book for the past couple of weeks, and we are going to be in section five of the book today, which section five of the Overcomer's Secret is going to be titled, What is Next? Okay, that's what we, we titled it. What is Next? Okay, so that is section five. All right, so when we're talking about what is next, what we're trying to trying to get people to realize is you got to carry on with the attitudes that got you saved. How many people have been born again over here? If you're coming through this lesson, you will have had an opportunity to call Jesus Lord. If you call Jesus Lord, you are saved. Now, what we're saying is certain attitudes positioned you weeks ago, months ago, years ago to call Jesus Lord. Those attitudes we identified as honesty, humility, and, humility and faith. And the Word of God says in the book of Colossians, chapter 2 and verse 6 to verse 7, it tells us, carry on with good attitudes. Okay, carry on with these attitudes that God has saved. What are those attitudes? The attitudes are going to be H for honesty. H for humility and F for faith toward God. So don't forget that. So there is no getting started with honesty and then going forward. I'm going to forget about being honest right now. No, no, no. You're going to block your access to mercy like that. There is no getting started with humility. And guess what? In the future, I'm not going to be humble anymore. No, you can't do that. You're going to block your access to, to the grace of God. You're going to block access to spiritual energy if you were to say that. Oh, there is no getting started with faith toward God, but going forward, I'm not going to have faith toward God anymore. No, things are not going to work for you anymore. <laughs> you got to carry on with these attitudes. Carry on with these attitudes to greater level of honesty in your relationships. Carry on with these attitudes to greater level of humility and faith in your relationships and toward God. That's what the section is trying to talk about. Okay, so please go ahead and talk, turn to page number 81. You are going to see uh, additional nuggets over there, and you are going to see questions that will help you to retain what we have talked about today. I want to thank you for joining me today. This is Mr. Lamb from Heroes Modem School Academy. I say God cares about you, and so do we. Bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born.